science, technology, and society. Learning Objectives 1. Explain key features of science and technology in modern societies 2. Discuss about educating for science and technology 3. Understand new policy developments related to science and technology for society 1. We have the key features of science and technology in modern societies the science and technology is a topic that encompasses science, technology, and the interactions between the two. Challenges and perspectives. Falling enrollment. Increasing gender gap. The recruitment to science and technology. Studies is falling, or at least not developing as fast as expected or planned for. This lack of interest in science often manifests itself at school level at the age where curricular choices are made. In many countries there is noticeable decrease in the numbers of students choosing the sciences. Even in our country, Philippines. Disenchantment with science and technology. It is not easy to understand what causes the difficult situation for the recruitment to science and technology. Dot. The problematic gender gap etc. Reasons for the doubt in and dissatisfaction with science and technology. Have to be found in the youth culture and in society at large. The decline in recruitment must be understood as a social and political phenomenon that occurs in many, but not all, highly industrialized countries. This means that the current situation can hardly be explained fully by events or reforms in each individual country. One should seek for more general and common trends found in different countries public. understanding of science and technology scientific literacy encompasses written numerical and digital literacy as they pertain to understanding science its methodology observations and theories Educating for science and technology of public interest in science and technology and civic scientific literacy are to be improved, the main effort must be made in the area of education. Comparative surveys clearly indicate that interest in science, technology and mathematics essentially develops at the primary and secondary levels of education. Later learning is important, but it is very difficult to fill the gaps left in early years. The problem is how to teach these subjects so as to awaken the interest of young students. Young people often complain that the subjects are boring, irrelevant to real life, and difficult. With the recent move in many countries towards adopting a core curriculum and national standards, Science teaching has taken on greater emphasis at the primary level, although the same cannot be said for technology. If these trends continue and are acted on, children now in primary schools can be expected to have a more systematic and significant introduction to these fields during their early and formative years. Efforts are also needed to increase the share of young women studying science and technology throughout their educational careers, a problem that the Netherlands, for example, has sought to address. Science and technology in schools Science education is the field concerned with sharing science content and process with individuals not traditionally considered part of the scientific community. Mm -hmm. 
science and technology in schools, recent trends and responses the challenges for science and technology. Education outlined in this document have been met in different ways. Many countries have introduced more or less radical reforms, and there has been support to curriculum development and experiments. Reforms are related to the content and framing of the curriculum as well as to pedagogies, teaching methods and organization of the learning processes. New policy developments related to science and technology for Society 1. Scientific and technological progress related to safety and security. 2. Strengthening science and technology for realization of a safe and secure society. 3. Strengthening science and technology for realization of a safe and secure society. technology for realization of a safe and secure society. 1. Promotion of research and development related to safety and security. 2. Assurance of diversified science and technology enabling flexible responses to unknown risks. 3. Fostering scientific and technological human resources in support of a safe and secure society. Essential concepts 1. Science is the systematic way of acquiring knowledge through observation and experimentation, whereas technology is the practical application of science. Technology is used to design products that improve the quality of human life. 2. Scientific and technological knowledge, skills and artifacts invade all realms of life in our modern society, the workplace and the public sphere is increasingly dependent on new as well as the more established technologies. Three. Problematic values and ethos of science The traditional values of science are meant to safeguard objectivity, neutrality, disinterestedness and rationality. 4. The scientists produced progressive knowledge and fought superstition and ignorance, the engineers developed new technologies and products that improved the quality of life. on this perspective could even further decrease the proportion of young people who find science and technology interesting and who would choose to continue with science and technology. 6. Industry needs people with high qualifications in science and technology. Modern industry is high-tech and often called knowledge industry. This industry is in need for highly qualified scientists and engineers to survive in a competitive global economy. Social and political issues should not be seen as technical and left in the hands of the expert. A broad public understanding of science and technology may in fact be a democratic safeguard against scientism and a domination of experts. 8. Science curricula are key factors to sustain and develop the interest in science. There seems to be a broad agreement about the critique of the old curricula, still the dominating in most countries. Science education in most countries is criticized for being traditional and rather old-fashioned. The implicit image of science is that it is mainly a massive body of authoritative and unquestionable knowledge. 10. A general trend is that there seems to be less influence from the traditional academic organization of curricula and contents. The nature of science that nature of science has become an important concern in the curriculum. 
This often means a rejection of the often stereotypical image of science as a simple search for objective and final truths based on unproblematic observations. 12. Information technologies as subject matter and as tools Information and communication technologies ICT, are products that by their definition belong to the science and technology sector. Thirteen. The development of new policies related to science and technology for society, using the three themes of scientific and technological progress related to safety and security, revival of local areas using science and technology, and intra-sector efforts. 14. Realization of sensor systems for detection of dangerous substances or threats, and information security technology for safe utilization of the Internet, are just a few of the many examples of science and technology contributing greatly to resolution of safety or security-related problems. Fifteen. In order for science and technology to contribute firmly to a safe and secure society, it is important to promote research and development into solutions to safety and security related problems, and to build a system that will allow swift and flexible responses based on science and technology to the sudden appearance of unknown risks. 16. Technology provided by the Ministry of Science, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, an information security project was instituted as a foundation software sector in the New Sector Human Resource Fostering program for the purpose of fostering human resources for the personnel short information security sector. Essential concept.